Hello everyone, this is Lou Cipolla reporting again for Nashua VFW Post 483, your local VFW Post here in Nashua. Today we have uh, several issues to uh, talk about uh, involving veterans and veteran issues. The uh, VFW attended a Senate recruiting and retention hearing. Uh, the uh, Senate is looking into uh, the recruiting and retention for the military services. All the services are below their anticipated uh, recruiting goals. Uh, people just aren't joining like they used to. And this affects the uh, strength of the services. So it's very important that the services maintain their standing strength. And the VFW uh, attended this hearing and made some recommendations. And there's the main recommendations they uh, put forth was the, uh, the Senate uh, needs and the Department of Defense needs to make sure and address the sexual assault and harassment, military housing issues, and food insecurity were among the top goals uh, that seems to be affecting the retention side of the uh, recruiting program or the maintaining of the strength. Uh, people leave the services for a lot of these reasons. So uh, they want, we feel that this has to be addressed uh, by the uh, Congress and also by the Department of Defense. And this should help in retaining soldiers. And when someone leaves the service because of a problem like this, that could affect other people from joining because they'll talk about it and people will get the wrong idea and not join. And it's very important, and it is and it's is important to our younger people that are coming out of high school. Uh, I know, in fact, when I left high school, you really don't know what you want to do. You may have an idea, but most people don't know. And you find by going into the service for a couple of years, at least, get your feet on the ground, you get more mature, mature, and you learn how to take care of yourself and accept responsibility. And that's very important in the, your development as you get older. And I think we see some of that effects today in our society where people have no responsibility. And it, it hurts. It hurts the, the country. And it hurts everyone in it. So uh, it's very important for people to join the service and then go on to college following their, their service time in which then they're eligible to use the GI Bill to help pay for the, their education. So it's, you get many benefits from this. So we'd like to see the recruiting pick up and the services get back to where they need to be. The VFW also attended a round table with the House of Representatives and discuss some issues. And the main issue that was discussed was the unaccredited uh, people out there that are uh, trying to say they will assist veterans in filing VA claims. By being unaccredited, that means they're not justified in what they're doing. And, and what they do is they want a fee, obviously, for their work, their service, and in many cases, they really don't provide the service. They take the money and run. So uh, for veterans out there, if you want to file a claim or you need really need to file a claim with the VA, go to an accredited service officer from one of the organizations, the veteran organizations, VFW, American Legion, or Disabled American Veterans, uh, we all have that, uh, accredited service officers in each state. Or you could go to a service officer at the VA itself, and they will assist you in filing the claim. And there's no charge for it. It's totally free. So do not use these people that you see saying, we, we can help you file a claim and, and get money uh, from the VA. They may, some are legitimate, not all are not, but many are not legitimate and they're looking to take your money. So 
go to one of the accredited service officers at one of the veteran organizations or the VA and talk to them, uh, take any medical records you may have that from the service that shows a disability that you incurred while in the service and those service officers can help you and take your, your discharge, your DD-214, because that is required. The uh, VA has released the suicide uh, prevention report for the past year. Uh, the, the number of suicides is down from previous years. The, the last year that it was this low was 2006. They did not report the number, but the last figure I saw recently was we're averaging about 17 per day. And that's still way too many. One is too many. And we need to get that number down. And uh, there is a lot of assets out there to help people that are in crisis and, uh, and to get help to prevent suicide. There's a new crisis hotline number, 988. It's one, the 988 and press one. And you get a representative uh, that will talk to you 24 hours a day and help you uh, through your crisis or direct you to uh, people that can help you. So don't contemplate suicide. That's the wrong way to go. So look for the help. It's out there. Don't be ashamed to admit you got a problem. It's anybody that's been in combat, you have problems when you come back. Everybody does, some worse than others. And don't hide it. Talk it out. That's the best medicine you could take is get it out in the open. So please do that. Flu vaccine is available at the VA. It's no cost uh, for uh, veterans to get it from September 1st of this year to April, 20, uh, April 30th of 2023. So the shots, flu shots are free. And please get it if, if you uh, want one. The uh, CDC estimates 5,000 to 14,000 people have died in the last year as related to the flu. So uh, the flu vaccine, as always, is out every year. It does work. Uh, the flu vaccine does prevent the flu. And also, I mean, you still can get it, obviously, like any vaccine. It's not 100%. And it's designed to attack a certain virus that they feel is the flu vaccine for that year. So there are other flus out there that you may get, and the vaccine may not work against them. But it should help in the, in the, uh, the results of the uh, flu. So do that. You know, the Department of Defense has an agency that monitors or looks for our missing in action over the past wars. Uh, we, they have teams that go out into the field to find the remains of soldiers and sailors and airmen that have gone missing uh, and have been very successful so far in finding and identifying bodies. This past week, 17 remains have been identified. Now they found a lot more remains, but they're unidentified at this time. So, but 17, which is quite good for a week, have been identified. If your family has someone that's missing in action and you have not donated DNA to the uh, bank please do so because that's how they identify these remains. If you're a family member of a missing service member, your DNA will match his to a high enough extent for you to, uh, for them to identify the missing person. So please uh, contact your uh, local uh, VA and they can assist you in getting uh, your DNA uh, registered uh, for the databank for these missing people. 
So uh, we'd like to get as many as possible. The teams are all over the world looking. Uh, the only problem we have is in certain countries, you know, you got to get the permission of that country to go in and look for remains on the battlefields. Most have been quite cooperative. Obviously, some are not. Uh, we did get a breakthrough in Korea a couple of years ago, and we we're able to go into North Korea uh, and got some bodies, but that's kind of a very slow process as our relations with North Korea are not the best. Uh, Vietnam has been quite cooperative in the search. They've assisted, and we found several remains in Vietnam, and they're still there looking for more. So please uh, donate that DNA. It's very important to identify these missing people. Now, locally, we completed the food and drive and fundraiser that I talked about a couple weeks past, and it was done this past weekend. We did very well for the food pantry. We collected 42 bags of food and almost $2,700 in donation uh, for the pantry. So it was a very successful two days at Market Basket. We thank Market Basket for allowing us to do the uh, drive at their location in South Nashua. And we look forward to working with them again. Our next venture is our annual poppy drive for Veterans Day. We'll be doing that on four to six November. Uh, we'll be at the Market Basket South Nashua and Somerset Plaza on the Friday and Saturday from nine to three. And at the Coliseum Avenue liquor store Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from opening to closing. So we will be there uh, distributing poppies. Poppies are free. Anybody can have one. We just accept donations. If you feel like giving one uh, to help us out, the poppy money that we receive goes into what we call a relief fund. This fund is totally dedicated to helping veterans in need. We cannot use the money for anything else. So please uh, be generous, uh, make a donation, take a poppy uh, for each member of the family. Uh, we have lots of poppies we give out and they're free. Just ask, step up to the table and get one. And if, you, if you're able to, leave a donation. And we, we appreciate that very much because it helps a lot of veterans. So. We're out there. Uh, we're trying to support the community as best we can. Uh, we're located at 8 East Pearl Street in Nashua. Uh, I'm at the post in the office every Tuesday and Thursday from approximately 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, our number is 603-402-2992. So give us a call or stop in if you have an issue or need some assistance for something. We may be able to help you. If not, maybe we could direct you to someone who can. So that's what we're there for. Veterans, come see us. We, uh, we like helping you. And of course, if you're eligible, we'd love to see you join us. We're always looking for new members. So the Nashua VFW Post 483 is there, and it's there to help. So please come out, support us, and join us. Thank you. And goodbye again till next time.